So uh, I'm now in a position to actually create some layer sets, which is what I'm going to do now. I think I'm going to make everything uh, invisible now, uh, in unprintable, unsnappable, ungluable. Just want to switch on the building envelope and all the core elements. So I'll switch all these off and then I can be a bit more careful about these layer settings as I put them on again. So I want to be able to see the building envelope and I want it to be printable as well and I maybe I'm going to uh, make that printable. Now there's some other things that I might want to bring in here. Uh, columns, well, actually I can see by this count there aren't any columns in this particular page. There are doors, although you can see them at the moment, they're probably not actually selectable. Uh, so let's make them selectable. And I might want to uh, snap and glue to doors. Other things I might want to bring in, uh, landings. Uh, again, I'm going to uh, make them visible, visible. Right, and walls. Click those on, and I definitely want to be able to snap to those and glue to those. And windows. Okay, now we're getting, uh, oh, there is a stair. I better have that stair. And I see we've actually got an opening element as well, which I would count as part of the structure. Okay, so let's have, uh, let's have, what should I do there? Yeah, no, sorry, it was that one there, wasn't it? Stair, opening element, that's the one I want. So. I think I've got everything on now, which is, I would call the building structure and walls. All right. So now that I've got that, I want to create myself a, a layer set. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, drag this button out here. And uh, drop it down and let's give it a name of uh, structure and we see immediately on the layer set here tab it gets named that oh, let's give it a nicer color I suppose let's fill it something like that right so this is my structure and by uh, saving everything uh, to this layer set which I'll do now, is saving all of the layer settings that I've got set up into that structure one. So uh, even if I was to now go and switch on everything, which I can do quite easily by restoring, refresh, sorry, this is uh, restore save settings. Uh, one of these is reset all layer settings, making all visible, printable, snappable, glueable, right? So let's do that. And then everything will come back on again. All right. And I could, if I wanted to, create myself a, a layer set button for that. So let's uh, drag this out. And we'll give this an all oh, name. Uh, so we've now got that and I'm going to save the uh, layer set so I can now just toggle uh, between uh, seeing the structure quite easily restoring that and all if I wanted to go back to all and that can be anything you like I can also create uh, toggle buttons in here. So let's go to a page layer, for example, 
and uh, let's say I wanted to bring in the uh, well there's some plumbing fixtures there so let's just drag in uh, plumbing fixtures and drop that now this is going to be a toggle button rather than a layer set button All right so uh, maybe I want to give that something like a magenta fill do I yeah, something like that right so I'll give that a uh, fill like so or maybe make the text a bit bigger and this can be used for just toggling the display of plumbing right. so something like for example the well let's just see what happens if I was to switch plumbing off does actually anything happen it's going to toggle that visibility and printability in one and you can see that it has switched everything off here right but I've still got things on show and why is that well that's quite often because there are multiple layers being assigned to the equipment so if I was uh, to use this to go and select some shapes Right, some of those shapes are now being selected there and we can see indeed the bath and that were on that layer. If I was to go and examine uh, the layers on this one for example, let's have a look here. That's the bathtub is also on counter or shelf fixture or plumbing fixture. So what I can do is drag in my, uh, where is it, counter or shelf this one here just drag that onto that toggle button as well and it was also fixture I believe so if I did that and drag that on there so this toggle button is now controlling uh, three layers all at once so this time if I was to toggle these off then we'll see I think yeah there you go stuff's disappearing all right there's still some things which have got a dubious that looks like a basin to me all right and that's some fixtures and plumbing fixture so again a little bit of uh i would think um, slack uh quality control there so i'm going to drag that onto my fixtures onto there so this will toggle uh, all of those four together all right and oh what's that one over there fixtures oh that was another one on the fixtures so if i was to toggle this right now i've got them all on and now i've got them all controllable go to my page layers now I did a toggling on fixtures. I'm just going to go and click those on here manually. Uh, I should have got them synchronized all in one because of the toggle button does what it says. It reverses. All right. So now that I've got that, this should take off all of the... There we go. Now, uh, there's still something wrong with those. I think that was the shower enclosure, but I'm going to go back to my structure and just go and recall my structural layout as you can see now I could bring on all those fixtures uh, badly constructed masters there and we've got on some of those things and again I would say uh, there's something wrong in the way that these are being constructed to on cabinet and fixtures all right maybe they should have done the bathroom fittings as fixture I don't know but uh, <clears throat> that is how you can control the layers I'll just toggle all those off again by using layer manager quite simply of course one of the values of having uh, the buttons available within the panel is that it doesn't matter where I'm zoomed into and I can't see those shapes that are on the page not all of those are printable by the way I can uh, simply uh, click on the uh, button in the panel here and if it was things that are there we go and if I go to my layer sets I could go and recall all now it will go back to the 
everything on if I wanted to. So I um, hope you find that useful. And all that is from the layer manager. And uh, well, speak to you again.